Science tells us that humans can't walk on water. Okay, Jesus did it, but he was the Son of God, which gave him an unfair advantage. As for the rest of us, well, we have to obey the laws of physics. Even John Tickle. John can't walk on water because, like all humans, he's too big and heavy to be supported by surface tension and not buoyant enough to float. But I can walk on custard. But he can walk on custard. First, let's empty the pool. This swimming pool takes 27,000 litres of liquid. That'll mean we'll need a lot of custard. So we need some heavy machinery on our side. Oh, this is going to be fun. Cement mixers and industrial bags of custard powder are the order of the day. <laughs> so, John, how are you going to walk on custard? Well, I'm going to take advantage of the properties of custard itself. Right. It's what's called a non-Newtonian liquid. Obviously. Sometimes it has properties like a liquid, sometimes it has properties like a solid. When I walk across the custard, I'm going to be doing it very quickly and impacting the custard quite hard. And under those circumstances, when you apply pressure, it behaves like a solid, so I shouldn't sink. So does this work with any custard, then? As long as you've got corn flour or some other starchy material in it, it should work, yeah. If you stop, then, you're not stressing it anymore. Oh, I'm going to sink very right. slowly like a stone. Into custard? Yes. Mm. You can't swim in custard? Not really, I don't right. think so. Good luck. Thanks very much. So John's confident. He trusts his science. The type of custard is important here. It needs to be corn flour based and hence starchy enough to have the qualities John expects. The custard our brainiacs are making is more industrial than edible. You wouldn't want this served up on your rhubarb crumble. And we need a lot of it. A lot more than we actually ordered. How much do we need? Well, I, I've no idea. Because I mean, since we were told we needed a certain amount, we've not even got one. Well, so let's just get as much as we can. Hello. We probably need as much as you've got in stock. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. At last, the pool is full. The big moment has arrived. Can I have a bit of a taste? Yeah. Lick. Mm. Yes, not too sweet, but it's custard. That is custard. All right, then. Well, if you're ready. I am. John Tickle, walk on the custard. Thank you. Custard. At rest, a liquid. On impact, a solid. Can it be true? when you stop walking about and you stand still. Because according to your theory, I would expect you to oh, 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 start to sink, as in fact you are. Oh, That's oh. incredible. The moment you stop, you disappear. Oh, thank you very much. Look, in fact, let me show, let me show you, look. There it is. You keep impacting it, it's solid, and the moment I stop, it's a liquid. <laughs> it's custard. John, that is incredible. That proves it. John Tickle can walk on custard. And that should be the end of it. Except, of course, there's the tiny matter of getting John Tickle out. Which isn't easy in a non-Newtonian liquid. Because the harder you pull, the tighter it grips you. Go on, slowly, really slowly. Oh, oh, slowly, 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 really slowly. But slowly does it, and yes, John Tickle lives to Brainiac another day. Um. You've been watching Brainiac. Science abuse.